different hey guys it's tony tactical again um i'm back with another video just to show you guys an update um i cleaned the inside of the boat it was really dirty it's looking a lot better now it was really dirty a lot of dust built up dirt cleaned up the tank a little bit Clean this whole thing up right here and right here it had like a little bit of a uh, wood framing to it uh, the guy had like a little crate on it so so the uh, anchors wouldn't hit the bottom of the boat and um, they're right there I'll probably reuse them to make like a battery uh, barrier so you know keep the battery in place it's looking a lot better now so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove all the hardware from here like uh, that little seat base the pole holder rod holders Take out the fish finders, the fire extinguisher, all the electronics, take them off. That uh, seat back there, and then um, another fishing pole holder. I'm going to take all that stuff out, and then just try to plan out how I'm going to do my little bass conversion. And, um, yeah, the, the, the motor is a 18 horsepower Evinrude. I found out, I think it's like a 1968, and it still runs... Uh, right off the bat let me get down so I can show you guys okay guys as you can see this is the the motor I think it's a two stroke so you mix in the oil and the gas on the tank you don't have to it doesn't run with oil inside I guess but um my cousin checked it out he says it runs good but he just he said that we should just do a tune up on it either way so we're gonna um Take off the carburetor and clean it, and then change the the gaskets on it. Probably like um, change the spark plugs. And he knows more about motors and stuff, so he'll take care of that. I'll probably clean the inside because it's a little bit well, it's really dirty and greasy. I'll just probably clean everything up, make it look nice. Probably paint the box. Don't really like the color on it. Somebody tried to paint it, but yeah, I'm going to repaint it. Probably a different color. And yeah. So, another look. So, got to take that seat off. Bring all that stuff down. That stuff down. I already took all this stuff out the boat. It's looking better now. And this is all that dirt and trash that was in there. But yeah, guys, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'll be right back when I take off all these stuff on the boat. Okay, guys, so um, I'm done stripping the boat. So as you can see, there's no hardware, uh, no seats left here. So we're ready to uh, go to the store and get all our equipment. I do not have a circular saw or a jigsaw, so I also have to buy that. But I'm going to go buy that Harbor Freight. And then we'll head out to uh, Home Depot and buy all the material. I already kind of this some measurements see how many estimated pieces I'm gonna need and I'm also gonna have to replace the transom because it's kind of rotten from down there so I'm gonna be replacing that too all right guys I'll get back to you just made it to my local uh, Arbor Freight I'm gonna buy me a jigsaw and a circular saw for the harbor uh, for the boat project the bass conversion uh, yeah, I'm trying to do this in a budget, so let's, let's just see. So they have a few. They have a circular saw for 30 bucks. They have one for 40 with the laser system guy, but um, I think the basic one will do. I'll probably just get that. And you got a jigsaw for 30, so probably also get that one. So I'm actually trying to get a, uh, let's see this one, variable speed jigsaw, uh, that one's kind of cheap, so I'll probably, probably just get the 2 for 30, let's just go with that. Okay guys, this is what I got from Harbor Freight, the circular saw, the jigsaw, a blade for the circular saw. An assortment of blades for the jigsaw. I guess it works for like woods, 
metals and hardwoods, plastics, all that stuff. Also got a level, two of them, you never know. Let's see what we got for uh, Home Depot. Some of the stuff I got, got some JB Weld for the little leaks I found. I got two different kind, Let's see which one works best. Little bit of primer, you know, just to put on the bolts and stuff like that. Deck screws. The adhesive for the carpet. Some silicone for the... I think I'm going to put this on the tra transom. There's a carpet. And then I bought, I think, six 2x4s redwood. Eight feet. For the framing. I haven't got the plywood yet. But after I finish with the framing. I'll be getting the plywood. So yeah. Just stay tuned. This is the first part of the video. Next, The next series is going to be. Me doing the framing. And probably the, me doing the framing on the. The second part is going to be me doing the framing on the front. Right here. And then um. I'll do the framing, probably do the decking, and then the carpeting for the front, and that'll be the second part to this video. Alright guys, just stay tuned and subscribe so you guys can see more of this content.